In this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove a little error that may be popping up on your screen when you randomly turn on your laptop or your computer. Now, this is a laptop that I'm currently using, and some update or something that I've installed on the system uh, created this little update problem. It says, System Program Problem Detected. Do you want to report the problem now? Hitting Report the Problem doesn't fix it. So I've got the little show notes here uh, in my notes here that supposed to fix it. Now I'm going to copy. I'm going to paste this in my terminal. And I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Hit cancel because reporting the problem doesn't fix it. Open up my terminal and I'm going to paste this in there. And I'll have this below the video along with a link to my web page with illustrated instructions. I press the enter or return key and put your password. Once you enter your administrative password it will then start and install the Plymouth XL. Now, if it's already on your system, it will let you know uh, that it's installed. Now, it's going through. It's going through and says and one newly installed. It's downloading it and installing it. It'll take a few sackets or several sackets, and it's going through and downloading it. So it's generating you uh, a boot file uh, with a generic name. Now, the next thing on my show notes where it says to configure that, if for some reason, if it does come back, this is an alternate thing to do is just go through and say reconfigure it. Since we're installing it for the first time, it should be configuring it for your system. So this is only in case it does come back after you put that. So this is not needed for the first solution that you do. You go through here and then remove the crash reports that's generating that. And then you're going to go through in the app port and turn that off. So here we're finished. It's installed that. Now we'll go through and remove the crash reports that's actually causing that to appear. So if you at the prompt, you copy and paste the sudo rm for remove, and then the path is var, var, and then the crash, and then the asterisk just means to remove everything in that folder. So you press the enter key, and we since we run sudo, I don't have to put the enter or password in again because I just ran sudo up here and put the password. Now, if I let it set for several minutes for a while, then I would probably time out and have to put the password. So once we remove the crash reports, we're going to go through and use your favorite text editor. In this case, my text editor I have installed on here is uh, gedit. Now, you can use Pluma or any of your other favorite text editor. Just replace the word gedit. So I minimize my text editor, which you see here, I'm using uh, gedit for my show notes. So it's going to bring up another uh, version of this. It may create a second tab. So I minimize this. I put it in the DOS prompt, or not the DOS prompt, the terminal. Here I'm thinking Windows environment. sudo gedit, which is my text editor. This is the path, the Etsy default, and the app port. That's what generates uh, crashes. And in a moment or two, it will pop up. It says set zero to disable the app port or one to enable it. You can temporarily override this with sudo app port start for start. And with these little uh, pound signs in front of these statements here, those are not script that's going to run. That's something that's a comment for us to look at. But right here, this enables that to every time you boot up, if there's a problem, to generate a crash report. If you don't like to get those crash reports, just delete the one and set it to zero and then hit your save button and now it should be saved and as a way of to see if it is I'm going to go and re-enter that I just hit my up arrow key since it's the last command I press the enter or return key again and as you can see here it did save it so the next time I reboot my system this little error message that we originally had up here should be gone if for some reason it's not then you'll need to go through here and put sudo and this command here. Now, it's not going to hurt anything since I've already installed it here. Since I ran sudo and closed my terminal, I'll probably have to re-enter my administrative password. So I press the enter, put my password, and then when I press the enter or return key, it's just going to go through there and it says tells you something that's no longer supported and it's updating this file that it originally created when we installed it. So it's generating that particular file there and uh, it's actually reconfiguring it. It's going back through your system to make sure that everything is okay. So that's why uh, if for some reason putting that top command and doing these others uh, it has problems then you can enter this. Now I'm doing it without rebooting because I just freshly installed this. When I reconfigure it, it should be like the original configuration did when I installed it. So now when I reboot my system 
then the error message should not appear anymore. Hopefully this will fix your error messages if you have that problem, and have a great day.